Bill O'Reilly here, Wednesday, September 28th, 2022. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Here's what's happening today in America. New York erects a tent city to process illegal migrants. 70% of workers look for extra employment to offset inflation. Bernie Sanders hints he may run for the White House again. Thousands flee Russia to avoid Putin's draft. A survey ranks the best countries in the world, and Russia is not one of them. Also ahead, comparing Governor DeSantis to Donald Trump. But first, New York City Mayor Eric Adams constructing a migrant detention center in the Bronx. The temporary shelter, located in an unused parking lot, will process immigrants arriving from Texas, Arizona, and Florida. When completed, the camp will feature five heated tents with enough cots to house 1,200 people. Texas Governor Abbott has bussed 10,000 illegal aliens to New York City since April. A report from Bank of America finds 7 in 10 Americans are looking for extra work to offset high prices. 71% of us say our current salaries are not keeping up with inflation. The average grocery bill up 66% in one year. Energy costs up 100%, a double. Nine in 10 workers have made significant changes to their spending in the last six months. You have to. Senator Bernie Sanders suggesting he may launch another presidential campaign. The Vermont senator speaking with CBS News when he said, quote, I haven't made a decision about 2024. We want people who are competent and capable Being president requires a tremendous amount of energy. If elected, the socialist would be 83 years old when he was sworn into office. So maybe, well, I'm not going to say it. Bernie is okay. He's not ever going to be president, but he's an honest man. Some Russians are leaving their country to avoid Putin's draft. The Kremlin calling up 300,000 reservists to fight in Ukraine the largest mobilization since World War II in Russia. Wealthy citizens now paying up to $25,000 to get the heck out by chartering planes. Russian police have arrested 2,000 anti-war protesters in the past week. New survey from U.S. News & World Report ranks the best countries in the world. Nations judged by quality of life, the economy, access to nature, and safety. Top five, Sweden, the USA, Canada, Germany, number one, Switzerland. That country has a population of eight and a half million people. Average income in the Alps, $75,000. But remember, you have to yodel. As for living in the USA, as James Brown once sang, our country still provides the most opportunity to the most people on planet Earth. In a moment, Republicans, Ron DeSantis and Donald Trump, how different are they? Right back. Bill O'Reilly here, and here comes the 12th killing book, Killing the Legends, The Lethal Danger of Celebrity. Elvis, John Lennon, Muhammad Ali all had one thing in common. They lost control of their lives, and that led to their deaths. Killing the Legends, the latest in the most successful nonfiction book series of all time. Available wherever books are sold. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. Right now, the leading Republican candidates for the 2024 presidential sweepstakes are... Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, and former President Donald Trump. No other Republican is even close to those two individuals. So let's take a look. Donald Trump, born in Queens, New York, June 14th, 1946. He is 76 years old. Estimated net worth, $3 billion. Educated at Wharton School of Business, University of Pennsylvania, and Fordham in the Bronx. He assumed control of the Trump Organization from his father in 1971. His real estate development firm has built properties across the USA, Asia, and Europe. Donald Trump was elected 45th president of the USA in 2016. As you know, he only served one term. He wants another. 
Ron DeSantis, born in Jacksonville, Florida, September 14, 1978. He is 44 years old. Estimated net worth about $300,000. Studied at Yale, then Harvard Law. Joined the Navy 2004. Was assigned to the Navy Judge Advocate General Corps, that's JAG. Later served in Naval Special Warfare Command in Central California. Deployed to Iraq 2007. DeSantis served as a member of Congress from Florida 6th District from 213 to 218. He was elected governor of Florida in 2018, widely believed that he will be reelected in November. Now, it is possible that Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis will team up on the same ticket in 2024, but one of them, DeSantis, would have to give up the Florida address. So Ron DeSantis, for example, would have to get an apartment in southern Georgia or someplace in order to run as vice president because the 12th Amendment to the Constitution states the electors shall meet in their respective states and vote by ballot for president and vice president, one of whom at least shall not be an inhabitant of the same state. But it's not hard for politicians to get residency in another state. Hillary Clinton did that in New York. As for policy, Trump and DeSantis are pretty close. Both govern in a conservative way. DeSantis is a doctrinaire conservative. He is a believer in traditional tenets. Donald Trump is more of a practical conservative. Now, The media, which of course is allied with the Democratic Party, would have you believe that Trump and DeSantis don't like each other. They are feuding or something. I cannot confirm that, even though I do speak to Donald Trump from time to time. I do not know Governor DeSantis. I do know if Trump wants to be president again, his smartest play would be to convince Ron DeSantis, to run with him. That would be a powerful ticket. I'm Bill O'Reilly. I approve the message by writing it. If you'd like more honest news analysis, please visit BillOReilly.com. And I hope you check out my new book, Killing the Legends, The Lethal Danger of Celebrity, opening big. It came out yesterday. So again, I think you'll enjoy it. In a moment, something you might not know. Inflation at its highest level in 40 years and interest rates are skyrocketing, as you know. Market experts like Jamie Dimon, CEO of J.P. Morgan, predicting recession. So to protect your future, do what I did. Call the only precious metal dealers I trust, American Hartford Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. You can get started with a short phone call. They will place physical gold and silver right at your door or inside your IRA or 401k. They are the highest rated firm in the country with an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau and thousands of satisfied clients. Please tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you and they'll give you up to $2,500 of free silver on your first order. Don't wait. You can call them now. 877-444-GOLD. 877-444-GOLD or text GOLD to 65532. Again, 877-444-GOLD or text GOLD to 65532. Now, the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. Americans finally returned to theaters this summer after two years of COVID-related shutdowns. The biggest blockbuster of 2022, Top Gun Maverick. To date, the film has earned $1.5 billion worldwide. That success is largely attributable to an actor described by The Hollywood Reporter as the last living movie star. Here is the story of Tom Cruise. He was born on July 3rd, 1962, Syracuse, New York. He took up acting in high school, then landed small parts in films like Endless Love and The Outsiders, but... It was his starring role in Risky Business that made Tom Cruise a celebrity. His superstar status was cemented with the release of the original Top Gun in 1986. Cruise was soon one of the highest paid leading men in the world. 
Landing roles in Rain Man, The Color of Money, Born on the Fourth of July, A Few Good Men, Mission Impossible, and other hits. Outside of acting, Cruz's personal life attracted a lot of attention as well. A series of high-profile marriages and divorces dominated headlines, as did his religious beliefs. Tom Cruise is an outspoken supporter of Scientology. He converted to the religion in 1986. Cruz claims the church's teachings, based on science fiction writer L. Ron Hubbard, have healed his asthma, dyslexia, bouts of depression. Cruz and his faith gained national attention in 2005 when he denounced psychiatry as an illegitimate science that intentionally drugs women and children. Today, the 60-year-old actor is worth more than $600 million. He owns mansions in New York City, Paris, Los Angeles, Florida, and England. And here's something else you might not know. Tom Cruise nearly dedicated his life to another religion. Teenage Tom spent two years in a seminary studying to be a Catholic priest. That was in Cincinnati. But he was booted from the seminary for stealing two bottles of booze from the Franciscan monks. Risky business, indeed. Back after this. Bill O'Reilly here. Vidgo, V-I-D-G-O, is a new streaming service that gives you live sports and programming you want at a price you can afford. With Vidgo, I get live sports networks, including ESPN and Fox Sports, along with incredible access to college football games, With 80% of every televised college football game in the first three weeks of September, 80%. Vidgo also has a great choice of news and entertainment program, including the first, Fox News, Newsmax, and more. On my new weekly program called Shock and Awe, exclusively on Vidgo, I'll break down the most important issues of the week, asking bold and fresh questions and sitting down for exclusive interviews with America's top newsmakers. For limited time, when you sign up for Vidgo, you can also get a copy of my new book, Killing the Legends, free and get $15 off Vidgo's premium service. So please go to Vidgo, V-I-D-G-O dot com slash Bill Book. Sign up now. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you. <laughs> 